We're here at the boyhood home of Woodrow Wilson, who would have celebrated his 160th birthday on December 28th. But this is not a story about the future president of the United States. It's a story of his grandson, Francis Sayer, Jr. Sayer was the son of Wilson's daughter, Jessie, and obviously Francis Sayer, Sr. Jessie, according to most, was the prettiest of Wilson's three daughters. Her marriage to Sayer, a Harvard professor and assistant secretary of state, seems to have been successful after a challenging start. The Chronicle reported their 1913 White House wedding almost didn't take place because Sayer had forgotten his identification, and when he showed up at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue on his wedding day, the security guards initially refused to believe that he was the groom. Young Master Sayer had the distinct honor of being born in the White House. He was the first child, male child, born there since the 1840s when John Tyler was president. We have a delightful photo that shows the proud grandfather and his new grandson. And it shows us a different Woodrow Wilson, not the stern and severe lecturer, the Presbyterian preacher's son, the Princeton academic, but just an old granddad beaming in the joy of his first grandson. Great things were predicted for this young man. They, they really were predicted. According to the Chronicle, an astrologer charted his course. Professor Gustav Mayer has forecast the horoscope of Francis Sayer Jr., grandson of President Wilson, the Chronicle reported in February 1915. The moon is his ruling planet, said Mayer. This signifies he is born for wealth, success, and fame. He will take a stirring part in politics. Little Francis was quite the celebrity. When his grandfather, the president, showed up for the April 14, 1915 baseball game between New York and the local Washington Senators, Washington's future Hall of Fame manager, Fred Clark, presented the president with a baseball bat and ball for the grandson. But did Francis Sayer Jr. grow up to be a politician like his grandfather, or a diplomat like his dad, or even a baseball player? No. He grew up to become the Dean of the Washington National Cathedral, a job he held for 27 years. In the 1950s, he was one of the early critics of Senator Joe McCarthy. The grandson of Woodrow Wilson was also a vocal opponent of the Vietnam War and an advocate for civil rights. In 1965, he marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. from Selma to Montgomery. He also wrote prayers national prayers. He even wrote the one in 1976 for the state of Georgia. Francis Sayer Jr., grandson of a president, born in the White House, a marcher for civil rights, dean of the National Cathedral, and a writer of prayers, died in 2008. I bet his grandfather was pretty proud of him.